Trekkers are unhappy since many trekking points are monetized by the ecotourism department of Karnataka. They pay rupees 303 for trekking on weekdays and rupees 500 during weekends. They say that even after paying for these treks, there are no basic amenities provided by the ecotourism department. The washroom is very important for both male and female uh, trekkers. But in case of female trekkers, uh, there should be a washroom. But uh, we don't find any washrooms there. And uh, even though if the washrooms are there, they are not maintained well. On August 2017, the Forest Minister officially inaugurated the initiative to convert free trek points into paid ones to maintain these places. Officials of Ecotourism Department say that proposals have been passed by the department to maintain these trek points and very soon actions will be taken to construct the basic infrastructure. So we have plan to start a toilet for ladies and gents and the parabola, ticket counter, drinking water and maintenance stuff for trekking park and uh, first aid kit and uh, signage boards. Experts say that in many places of India, trekking points are maintained by the localites as it is their main source of income. We have places in Himachal and in uh, uh, Maharashtra, it has been uh, supervised and managed by local people. So that is the reason the changes doesn't happen very frequently. Or the government, I believe government should take a charge upon it and government whole and full should intervene in this and they should look after it. But I believe again, locals are mainly dependent on this. So maybe government and locals should have some kind of meeting or some kind of discussion for this year and they should found a middle ground for this year. This is Rishti Srinivasan reporting for CityCast, Bengaluru.